All praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rekakadash, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father. In the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh Shah being the name of his only begotten Son, who they ignorantly call Jesus Christ. And so, when you get this truth, you're going to understand uh, a lot. And this wisdom is going to give you an understanding that most people understood in the ancient world and in earlier history before the, this information start to spread out and this wisdom start to spread out people had an understanding that if you ever got on this level, then you would be uh, at the top of the totem pole, as they say. Now, what is that? Daniel chapter 12, I think verse 4, it says the uh, knowledge would increase. But see, the whole question is, what kind of knowledge was going to increase? Because let's go into the scriptures and go ahead and get it. Any kind of knowledge just ain't going to do. And see, that's why Roosevelt, Roosevelt said that a biblical education is the key. Let's go to the Ecclesiastes uh, 12 and 12. I mean, Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. Let me highlight that. It said, and further by these, my son, be admonished of many of making many books. There is no end. Of making many books, there is no end. And much study is a weary a weariness of the flesh. So the making of the many books which they do in these so-called colleges. You got books for days, books on this, books on that, written written by this guy and written by that guy. There's no end to that. You can do that all day long. Every person on earth, the 8 billion people on earth, can write a book and run their mouth about how they feel about this and that. You see? And... The uh, 13th verse here says, let us, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. See, because this is a, a matter going on. It's a controversy that's going on. And the controversy is, what knowledge should I be putting into my brain? It says, fear God and keep his commandments. This is the whole duty of man. See, the information that you need to be seeking and putting into your brain is not no uh, books of these men who uh, don't have, who are dependent on the Most High for everything. They're totally dependent infants to the Most High. They don't control no, no bodily functions. They don't control no actions that they're doing. They're totally dependent on the most high. And you read in some book that some uh, infant then wrote and, and uh, accumulated uh, information together and, and put down and you studying this information and you think you're going to get some kind of enlightenment. That's going to mean anything. Now when you go to. Let's get. Um, let's get. Set First Corinthians. 3 and 19. Because that's the perfect set. Perfect uh, transition. Uh, it says. For the wisdom of this world. Is foolishness with God. See. The wisdom coming from any human. Is foolishness. With God. That's why in Psalm, uh, Isaiah 55. It says for his thoughts. Is not our thoughts. Because our thoughts are foolishness. 
foolish or the thoughts of man is foolishness. You see, it says, for it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Look at verse 20. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise that they are vain. See, these men in the world who write books and they setting up colleges so you can go read their books in some college uh, class, listening to a professor that supposed to read the book before you read the book to teach you the book. This idiot don't know what he's talking about. This idiot is a fool to God, even though he think he wise, even though he think he done came up with something, science, biology, sociology, uh, what else you can throw on there, chemistry, al algebra. See, he think he done came up with some kind of uh, situation or form of knowledge that's going to help you. And he is a fool. You wiping your butt, digging in your nose, scratching your stinking behind like every other human. You is nothing. You don't know nothing. You can't do nothing. You ain't in control of nothing. See, you can't give life. You can't take life. See, you don't have no type of power in this world and you trying to Give your wisdom. Push your wisdom and your philosophy off to somebody else. Let's get this and let me get that in um what is it? Uh let's see here. Colossians. Cause this is what these people do, man. Colossians two and eight. It say, Beware lest any man or woman spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. See, their wisdom is vain, man. After the traditions of men going to their funky college and the rudiments of the world and not after um, the anointed, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who is the law. See, he's the embodiment of the law. He's the high priest. He is the word of God. See, that's who you're supposed to be. And then look, look at what King David wrote, man. Because these people do this, and they go to these people's colleges, man. Look at what he's, I don't know, where I'm at. I won't, um, yeah, give me verse 2. It say, but his delight. Is in the law of the Lord, and the in His law do He meditate day and night. See, this is what you're supposed to be doing as a as a uh, man. What they say, the whole duty of man not to be reading a bunch of books, man. Reading the eighty books that the Lord ordained and put down here for us to read, and none of them books don't have a mate to it. Let's get um. Ecclesiastes 39. Look at what this say. It say, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in the prophecies. All the ancient. Who is he, who is he talking about when he say all the ancient? Let's get that in Deuteronomy 32 and think six no 32 and seven i was right it say remember the days of old consider the years of many generations ask your father and he will show you your elders and they will tell you the elders is the prophets that's why i say the, the prophets are subject to the prophet look into the the, the ancient Research what's in the law and the testimony. See, if you get when you get to the law and the testimony, then you're going to be able to get some wisdom. Not listening to these idiots that's writing books in this world because they talking about nothing but foolishness. What's Isaiah 8 and 20? See, 
to the law and to the testimony. Testimony of who? The prophets. All the, the testimony, the prophets is putting the testimony down. And Moses was a prophet. He wrote the law. Or he didn't write the law, but he presented the law to the nation. He was given the law. But the prophets also was given the prophecies. And this is what you're supposed to have a thorough knowledge of, like Russell, Russell, Roosevelt said. And he understood this because the people in the ancient world or the people uh, that was came before us, they understood this. It say, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. See, if you speak in some college American wisdom, you is speaking foolishness, man. You speak in darkness. What is it? What, hold on, let me get Proverbs again. And see, this is a, and this is a commandment too. It is a commandment. Look at that. When you going to these colleges, this is what you're doing. It says the way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. See, you following the, these colleges and thinking that you got some. Now, I got a degree. I got two degrees. You got a degree of dark, two degrees of darkness. Because a college education is foolishness. Look at what verse 7 says. It says, wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get an understanding. You got to get an understanding. Let's go back to his, his thumbnail. You got to get a thorough knowledge and understanding of the Bible, not of a funky college education by a bunch of books written by these drunks in the 1800s. Most of them subjects that the rock, not the Rothschild, but that the Rockefellers was coming up with, because the Rockefellers thought of this college school system in uh, what 1904. He put in a hundred, a hundred billion dollars or a hundred million dollars to start the education system, and they were dictating what was being taught. They was orchestrating the curriculum. His brother was in the government, the Rock, uh, Rockefeller. He was in the government running education in the 50s. Then they got out of the business in around the 80s and was backing the uh, people that was doing, took over. So they, they is orchestrating the education system the whole time. So if you going up in there thinking you know something more than somebody else who got a Thorough knowledge of the Bible. You see, you is an idiot and a fool. And that's why he said in 1 Corinthians 3 and 19, the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. See, you think you know something because you got a college education and a degree or degrees. You are an idiot. You are a fool according to God. And these, even the, the wicked understood this. See, and you see the statue they put up of the man when he had the the Indians on one side and the, and, the, and, the, and the slaves on the other side. He had the north, the southern kingdom on the right, and the, uh, or however you're looking at the uh, statue. The southern kingdom on one side and the northern kingdom of Israel on the other side. Because these people had a thorough knowledge of the Bible. They wasn't no idiots. See, he, they was hiding themselves, like Jeremiah 49 to 10 say, Esau is hiding himself. See, the rulers of this system is hiding themselves and hiding what they know. They ain't, they not ignorant. They just hiding and stuff. And then the Negroes was cut off from their inheritance. Was that Jeremiah 17 and 4? They was cut off from even knowing what was heck, what the heck was going on? Because their inheritance was the law. Their inheritance was the 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 culture of their peoples. 
So they they was cut off from even knowing what totally blinded well, Revelation 11 and 8, dead bodies lying in the streets of the great city Babylon, America, which Theodore Roosevelt is the president of. See, that's why they call them Negroes, or we know the real name they call them. Because they, and they, the word wound up being, the meaning of the word turn, went from black, which meant black, but it, went, it turned into being ignorant. Most people that came up in the 80s in the school system, in the 80s and the 90s, they was taught that that word meant ignorant. And because these are the, the blacks and the Hispanics, Native Americans, are ignorant. They was made ignorant. Not the Edomites, not the so-called white man, not the Arabs, not the, the Hamites, not the Chinese, not the uh, so-called Indian people with the dot on their forehead. They wasn't made ignorant. They not called ignorant in, in no shape, form, or fashion. Only the people in the pro in the projects, the the uh, project that the government of America has established. See, they not just a place people live that they call the project. No, it's a actual project, an experiment that's going on in the neighborhoods, in the slave quarters where they keeping the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is the thorough knowledge that people got to know. You don't know nothing if you go into college and you think that means something. Oh, I got a degree. They, they, they don't know what they're talking about. I got a degree. Yeah, you got a degree, all right. You got a foolishness degree. And the so-called white man will tell you that to your face. A thorough knowledge of the Bible is worth great, 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 great. Did I get Proverbs 16? Let me get 16, man. I'm going to end it on Proverbs 16. 16 and 16. 16 and 16. It says, how much better is it to get wisdom than gold? See, I'm going to get me a degree. I'm going to get a good job. And I'm going to have a good job. I'm going to have a good job. I'm going to be living better than you. See, you're an ignorant fool. And to get understanding rather than to be, rather to be chosen than silver. See, understanding and to understand the wisdom of the Bible is worth it better than any college uh, education that's going to lead you to some high paying job. It's foolishness. But see, people don't understand that. But guess who understood it? The president, they had to take his statue down, probably because people start recognizing why you got the Indians on one side and the and the, the, the slaves on the other. They must mean something to you. Who is these people? Somebody, and, they, and then you got a bunch of people telling us that these people are God chosen people, both of them. Let's get this statue down, man. That's going that's bringing too many people to awareness. See. Because they not ignorant and you is. But I'm going to leave it there. All praises to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. to the elders pushing the truth. Peace of the elect worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.